In boys' hoops, the local teams hit a bumpy road in the second round of the playoffs. And in soccer, seventh-ranked Capo Valley opened with success at home. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studio. I'm Gordon Spencer. The Tribuco Hills boys basketball team celebrated their first ever South Coast League title with a first round victory at home. Then they hit the road. That's where we sent Jonathan Camus. It's Mustangs versus Mustangs. Tribuco Hills hits the road to play Walnut in the second round of the CIF Division 2A playoffs. Early on, Walnut's Eric Liu drives baseline and scores. Over on the other side, Connor Haskell crosses over and delivers a killer bounce pass to Vinny Zingales. But before the first quarter ends, Agassi Goentera drives right and one. The non-OC Mustangs lead 15-11 going into the second quarter, where it's crisp passing shown off by Walnut. Four players touch the ball until Issa al knocks down the tray. However, Haskell responds with a three of his own. Walnut leads 33-22 at the half, and who doesn't want a free shirt? This mom makes the steal. At least she gives it to her daughter, though, I guess. Back to the game. Walnut was all over the boards in this one. Noah Leal rebounds his own miss, but Dane Johansson is there with the putback. Later, Chase Anderson drives, but he is denied. There's an outlet pass to Noah Leal, who makes a circus shot off glass. Walnut has a double-digit lead as we forward to the fourth. Tribuco tries to get something going, but a steal leads to an eventual bucket and foul by a pumped-up Goentera. Everybody gets these hands. Tribuco's highlight of the night was this steal and dunk by Anderson. But the Orange County Mustangs lose to the LA County Mustangs 60. 43. Walnut holds Tribuco Hills to their second lowest scoring total of the season. But Tribuco Hills head coach Sean Sullen said, these seniors need to hold their heads up high. They left their mark. They can say they're the first ever team to win a South Coast League title at Tribuco Hills. Walnut's Agassi Goentera scored a game-high 21 points. Tribuco Hills' Connor Haskell had a team-high 19 points as Walnut advances to the quarterfinals. From Walnut, I'm Jonathan Camus for South County Sports Zone. Second round for the Elise Odegel Wolverines. They travel to Upland to face the at-large team out of the Baseline League, Aliso South Coast League champs. First quarter, Aliso trailing early. Lucas Parks to Dylan Dickerson. That's a three to tie it at 12. Then the Upland defense, Shamar Weston, Bryce Parker, Langston Nesbitt, Upland up 16-12. Then watch Aliso's Lucas Parks. The moves and the bucket. 8-0 Aliso run to lead it 20-16. Second quarter, Lucas Parks again. Dish to Harmander Dollywall and one. 27-17 Aliso with their biggest lead. Here comes Upland Nesbitt out to Frankie Alvarez, the three, 32-26. Scott's down six. Then Aliso breaks the press and ends with a Dickerson three, 35-28 Wolverines. Upland fired up. The feed, T. Hawking, 37-35, Aliso hanging on. Then they turn up the defense. Bryce Harper stuffs Lucas Parks. And it was 37-35 at the half. Keith Barnett and Aliso in a battle in the second round, third quarter, off the steal. Upland scrambles, Nesbitt. Off Parker and Frankie Alvarez. Upland takes a 43-42 lead with that crazy play. Then it's Nesbitt 
waiting out there. A big three, 48-42 Upland. Then Aliso back-to-back -back blocks on some good defense. And then back on offense, they go to Jaden Okubo, who's had some clutch baskets for Aliso. They're down 51-48 now. Then Caleb Freeman Sacker keeps them in it. Back-to-back -back threes in the fourth. Aliso down 57-56. There's another of those threes. And Aliso takes the lead back. Watch this play. Lucas Parks down to Harmander Dollywall. Dollywall a couple of tries. Gets it to go. Aliso leads 62-61 with 3.35 left. Then Bryce Parker. The two and the foul. Showing the muscle, 69-65 with 147 left. Upland in the lead. Elisa with problems inbounding. Losing the ball in the final moments. And Upland just able to go the length of the court. Jai Rosado and Upland wins this one. 82-67, Dollywall with 19, Dickerson 16. Elisa's season comes to an end. A couple of other updates. The Capital Valley Cougars, who won the CIF title in 2017, knocked out in the second round against Beverly Hills. And the Mission Viejo Diablos boys basketball team also out in the second round. We're going to step aside, take a break. When we come back, girls basketball and boys soccer in the playoffs when South County Sports Zone rolls on. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. The Capo Valley Boys soccer team won its first league title since 2012. Their reward, a home opener against last year's state CIF champs. Godinez out of Santa Ana won the Division II title and state title in 2017. After graduating nine starters, Capo hoping to get a W in round one. First half, Capo with the first chance early. The header saved by Gabriel Contreras. 0-0 game. Then Godinas. David Denise. The blast. Off the post. That close. Then Capos Creed ran the big boot. But Contreras able to grab that one. Then Denise. Watch it with the moves against the Capo defense. Gets the shot. Ben Selecki comes up with a save. Still nil-nil. Then under five minutes left in the first half, Denise crossed to Brian Matias. Punches it in just like that. Goninas takes a one to nothing lead going into halftime. Jason Sorrell, eighth year, heading Capo Valley, trying to get back to the finals. Been a couple of years. Second half, they brought their game. Three minutes into the second. Off the Joe Saldivar corner for Capo. Watch Lucas Nelson on his side, spins, shoots, and scores to tie the game at one. Unbelievable goal. Then Nick Tresser tries to give Capo the lead moments later. Point blank. But Contreras is there to grab it. Then halfway through the second half. Corner, Creed Wren. Cam Vetter, header. Wow, Capo takes a two to one lead. Godinas now for the tie. Watch the defense, it's Lucas Nelson. Off the chest, then kicked away. And the Capo Valley Cougars hang on and a comeback, two to one victory. Every time the ball's in the corner, uh, us captains knew we we're gonna put it in. We just gotta have uh, faith and belief. And me and Vetter put it in, and we knew it was gonna happen. And defending never stop. You gotta win everything. Yeah, the first 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I thought we did quite well. And then uh, they started to get a little bit of rhythm, a little flow to them, and they're a really, really good side. I mean, I don't know how they're an at-large berth team because they're probably one of the better teams in that first round. Uh, second half, we just told the boys, hey, we got 40 minutes, let's be patient. Keep doing what we did in the first 15, 20 minutes and let's see what happens and then we'll make changes if we have to. And then we scored the goal, I don't even know, maybe 
10 minutes in or so and then we just left everything as it was because it was okay and then honestly it wasn't pretty we, we defended for about the last 15 20 minutes but that's that's the way it goes sometimes so I'm, 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 I'm happy the boys are happy with the win so so Capo Valley opens the playoffs at home with a big win over Godinez Cam Vetter gets the game winning goal as the Capo Valley Cougars move on Back to the hard court, girls basketball division, two AA, round two, Burbank Burrows out of the Pacific League. Kicking on the J. Sarah Lions, third out of the Trinity League, first quarter, Burbank Faith, Boulanger, Marin, Grote, six foot four senior gives Burbank a four nothing lead. 7-0 run now for J. Sarah, sophomore guard Alex Lemsisanit hits the three, 7-4. Lions. You're going to see a lot of number five. Then Burbank Burroughs, Kayla Robel, the lay-in. Indians down 10-8. Second quarter, Burbank works the ball around. Nicole Rumfola, the miss, but Grote there to put it back. 12-11, Jay Sarah hanging on to the lead. Then it's Lem Sisanath, the runner. She pops it in, 16-11, Lions. Then Sarah Shaw. And it goes in. 8-1, Jay Sarah run, 20-12, Jay Sarah at the half. Jay Sarah's Mary Rosen, y'all there on the right, leading the Lions. Nice first half lead. Jay Sarah keeps the offense rolling. Elodie Lacote to Lem Sasanath and one. 24-14, 10 point Lions lead. Burbank using the long ball to get back in it. Ariana Farias, 25-17, Jay Sarah. Then it's Diane Del Castillo, the three, 25-20. Here comes Burbank, but Jay Sarah has Lem Sasanath, and she thinks about uh, not quite a three, it's a long two, 30 to 22. Jay Sarah after three, fourth quarter. Burbank's Del Castillo, another three. Indians down three, 30-27. But Jay Sarah just able to run down the clock, at the free throw line, they win it, 35-27. Well, first of all, uh, we played a really good team. Uh, we're a defensive team, so uh, their defense, uh, she switched it up and played some triangle in two and some box in one. Um, so we're just uh, trying to figure out ways to score the basketball, but uh, we're always sticking to our defense because that's the most important thing, and that's obviously what wins championships. And uh, we did lock them down. Uh, to 27 points, so um, super proud of our kids grinding it out. So Jay Sarah moves on behind Lem Sasanath's 18 points. The Elisa Nogal girls basketball team winning on the road at Los Osos, 48-45, so they move on. Other boys soccer, Tribuco Hills loses to Anaheim 4-2. Elisa Nogal boys win 4-0 against Burbank. That's going to do it for us here at South County Sports Zone. Don't forget, for all of the episodes, log on to missionviejolife.org or cityofalisoviejo.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer. <laughs>